Good evening. There was hope that health officials would announce today when the San Joaquin Valley could leave the latest stay at home order, but because of a rise in COVID cases and concerns over ICU capacity, that order has been extended indefinitely. 23 ABC's Alex Bell breaking down what this extension means and gives an update on the ICU capacity here in Kern County. She's live from Mercy Southwest in Bakersfield. Alex. Yes, good evening. According to the state's latest report, Kern County only has 10 ICU beds available for the entire county. Now that state tracker also shows that since the tracking began back in March, that is the lowest number of ICU beds that's been reported. And when I checked in with local hospitals like Mercy Southwest, where we're at right now, they say that they are at IC, they're almost at ICU capacity, excuse me. And that one thing that does remain critical is staffing these hospitals. This is hard for us to hear. This is difficult because what this is an indicator of is we are not um, progressing in the right direction. While the announcement came as no surprise for lots of people, it's still a harsh reality for health experts like Michelle Corson with Kern County Public Health. On Tuesday, Dr. Mark Galley, the California Health and Human Services Secretary, said the regional stay-at-home order has extended indefinitely for the San Joaquin Valley and Southern California due to a lack of ICU capacity. The order will remain because those projections do not show that San Joaquin Valley and Southern California um, have uh, projected four weeks out ICU capacity over 15%. So they will remain under the order for the time being. Uh, we uh, uh, essentially are projecting that the ICU capacity is not improving in Southern California and San Joaquin Valley and that demand will continue to exceed capacity. The stay at home order will remain in effect and can only be lifted when ICU projections are above or equal to 15%. The latest stay at home order impacting Kern County began on December 6th and banned things like outdoor dining, but it was set to expire Monday after a three week period. However, COVID-19 patients continue to flood hospitals through the state with over 2 million positive cases being reported. Kern County has also seen a jump in cases recently. Here in our region and well as Kern County, um, you know, we're seeing impacts on our health care system, and that's frightening. The California State website's latest report shows that Kern County only has 10 ICU beds available for the entire county. This number does not include pediatric beds, which can also be used as backup. 23ABC did reach out to the state to confirm the number of pediatric beds, but we haven't heard back at this time. With Thanksgiving and Christmas just ending and the new year coming up this week, it's causing even more concern. We know that those are prime times also so for COVID-19 to spread, and it's proving to be the case during this holiday season. Corson says there's been no discussion to do any localized enforcement, but ask residents to adhere to the order and will respond to complaints and reach out to businesses. She adds that health officials understand there is COVID fatigue in the community and people want to get back to normal life. Just need to hang in there um, a little bit longer, and we feel like that the, the tide is going to change, you know, with with the vaccine um, and once we get through the holidays. So. Now, we do want to reiterate that the state's numbers does not include pediatric ICU beds, and we did reach out to another local hospital, Adventist Health, and as you know, they have three locations. Uh, they said that they currently have 16 ICU beds available, and none of those are pediatric ICU beds. They do not have pediatric ICU beds. So we did reach out to the state about this discrepancy, but did not hear back in time for air. Reporting in Bakersfield, I'm Alex Bell for 23BC News, connecting you.